Well, well, well. I think it's time we get this party started. I do think. I do, 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 think. And the last time we did the stuff in uh, the security level, we got Marshall. Marshall out of her shenanigans. Without further ado, we gotta go back to uh, maintenance, I do believe. I do believe, I do recall, because we gotta go get some Blackrock. Blackrock shenanigans. Helps avoid enemy projectiles. I haven't seen it happen. something about Dylan. Yes. Is he here? Is he all right? Wait a minute. HRAs first. They'll help save everyone, including Dylan. Wait a minute. Once I find him. Can you keep him safe? This is a different, uh... Like you do with me? Different elevator. Oh. Big lad. Not that big a lad. Oh, there's a giggity goobity do here. Alright. Come on. You can't be here. Uh oh. Okay. Alright. Are we. I think we're fine now. Also, I should be able to get into the turbine room. Oh my god, the bloom. The bloom! Alright. Let's take a peek inside the turbine room because we should have clearance level 4. Yep. I beg your pardon? Why? But why though? Oh. Okay. It's just as well that there was oodles of trash there. Okay, can I, um... Alright. Sure. And that lets me get up here easily, which is fine. Hello? I don't suppose there's a uh, cool upgradable goodies up here. Alright. Oh. Alright. Well, I don't think I can see any of the batteries I tossed down. Easily. Probably not. No. Peace. Ah. <laughs> Ocean view entry point. Nice. Alrighty. You really gonna make me pick up this key each time I visit the ocean view? Open. 
So this does exist somewhere. Because there were people I heard outside. Hey, you got a key in back here? For opening the inverted pyramid room? Is there a reason any of this exists? Puzzles! Sure. Alright, Invert Pyramid. Fill me up with that knowledge. Ah, oh, the bridge is here now. Excellent. So I did need to come here first. Glad I didn't just goof that. What? All right. And R. Come here. And then this is literally just that. Okay. Had to double check. Okay. Black rock processing. Here we come. My missions, by the way. My missions. Uh... Fuck. I don't know about that one. But anyway, uh, I'll beat things up in research and executive. Well, don't matter right now. I need me a black rock. Kinda dark, but alright. Okay, we need to find a way to black rock processing. Mm. That's where Marshall said we'd find a prism. That is what she said. I agree. Reminder if the contents of your workspace have been rearranged. Removed, added to, or altered in any other way, you should immediately leave the area while speaking to yourself in a reassuring tone. This oh. will not only keep you calm, but also the room. Thank what? you for your attention. Keep the room calm. What am I interacting with here? Oh, I'm turning the radio on and off. Well, okay. That's fine. My lore! Uh, Atlas Theory. Atlas is a physical expression created by the oldest house. It is. Its purpose and function currently unknown. Specific shape and dimensions of the Atlas uh, seem to indicate a more explicit purpose than the oldest house's usual walls, floors, and shifts. The Atlas changes form, but resists observation when doing so. No visual observation has been made during its change, and it only ever occurs between frames when monitored by surveillance cameras. Oh, that's pretty quick. Speakers, what is this game about? Um, if you know anything about SCP, it's kind of like that. But uh, we are playing a character looking for her brother who went missing eons ago. Uh, and there's a voice in our head that accompanied us after we found an anomalous object that was then taken away by a Bureau of Investigation. And when the voice in our head allowed us to enter a building that is normally unenterable, we became the new director of operations. So now we're trying to stop an evil cosmic entity from taking over all these things while also looking for our brother. I think that's probably the best 
concise way of describing it. But uh, things be weird and whack and weirdly whack. Previous theory was that this change corresponds to how shifts and that the atlas is a blank. However, shape changes do not occur at the same time as the building shifts, which makes this theory doubtful. Structurally, Atlas is made of the same blank material as the rest of the oldest house. Further observation will hopefully aid in discovering its purpose. Okay. Also, the building we're in is known as the oldest house, and it likes uh, changing shape and form. And as we uh, link up with um, anomalous objects that gives us various powers. We cannot enter this chamber yet. Yet. Maybe we can skip across, or is that a fall? That's a fall. I'll do a hop, skipty hop first. And it was the right choice because goodies. Nice. All right. Gunshots. Bodes well. I think that's just a shortcut. Combat music still, still bumping. So that doesn't tell me that we're good. And we may be decidedly not good. Although our, uh, our the big enemy of the game is a little bit silly because it's called the hiss because it sounds like uh, gas escaping. All right. Can I cleanse this? I can't cleanse this. I don't like that. Well, hey, how you doing? Okay, now the spooky music stopped. The big bat is a fart sound? Kind of. Speak with Arish. Eh? Here where? We're here. New phone, who this? Also, do we got some tasty, delicious lore? I'm not seeing any lore.
goody house. There it is. I was about to cry a little bit if we didn't actually have goodies in these, in the goody goody house. Glad to see you're still you. Hmm. I am Medic. still me. Have you noticed the recent tension between Trench and Darling? They're both acting oddly. Trench concerns me the most. His sudden hostility towards Darling's project is very unlike him. He was the one to approve all his hedron research in the first place, but after Darling unveiled those HRAs, he was livid. I personally don't see any reason not to equip Bureau staff with an ad additional protective device, especially not if it's as strong as Darling says. What do you make of this? Have you seen anything from either of them that strikes you as odd? Let's talk in person soon before the next Bureau meeting. Is the AWE the bureau you mentioned? The one that took the project? Uh, no, AWE, I believe, is Anomalous Projects? Oh, yeah. Anomalous yeah. Weapons? Maybe? I don't fully remember what. Because Objects of Power are the oobs. I don't remember what AWE was specifically. Uh, Astral Plane... Hmm. Altered World Events is what AWE is. AKA anything that is uh, extraordinary. Ranger Squad Charlie 7 returned from an expedition into the quarry threshold just after 0500 Zulu. Can you please state your names and describe the purpose of your expedition? Kevin Horowitz, Ruthless Well. Our mission was to map four grid coordinates G29. Secondary objective, as always, was to find a route from the threshold entrance and maintenance to the formation. Secondary objective was not a success. What is the plan? And did you encounter any previously unrecorded event or entity while inside the threshold? No. None. Do you think we should tell them about the mermaid? Excuse me? Yeah, the mermaid. Horowitz here found this mermaid in a quarry, just sitting on some black rock. She was singing this beautiful song, and he was overcome with desire. I remember the deal. She was so Kill it is, I buy a I'd shot. say she was more oh, enchanting home. than alluring. Fine, enchanting. Um, did you tell your CO about this? No. Because it didn't happen. Nothing happened. As usual, the quarry is full of rocks. That's it. Can we go now? <laughs> Fuck you guys. Get out of here. Wow. Alright, I guess we better do story stuff. Hey, thanks for bringing down that... Whatever the fuck that was. But we are barely holding on here, boss. How's the situation outside, Nathan? What do I tell him? The truth is harsh, but... These people seem familiar with death. The hiss are everywhere. Most of the Bureau is lost. We need Blackrock Prison to make more HRAs for any survivors in the safe rooms. I'm here to check Darling's Blackrock lab. So to recap, uh, death, disaster, and imminent destruction. Another day at the FPC. But Darling's lab is just past Blackrock processing. Mm. I got good news and I got bad news on that front. Good news is, it's right down the hall. Yeah. Bad news is, a hiss monster decided to move in. So what do you mean? Explain. Monster. What the rangers said. The ones that survived, anyway. But we are just treading water here, and the hiss keep coming. Salvador would know what to do, but apparently he took a security team into the containment sector just before the lockdown happened, and well, no one's seen it since. Mm. But hey, at least we got you. <laughs> Fearless leader. They shouldn't rely on me. They don't know me. Ho 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 ho. They don't know how I failed people. And yet. You've done a good job here, Arish, but you should take your people and get to the base and executive. You can regroup there. I'll go deal with this monster. I'm getting kind of used to them. Mm. Aye, aye, Faden. Be sure to put a bullet in that thing for me. There will probably be a lot more running and screaming, but, uh, noted. So, uh, most of the enemies have just been mind-controlled humans, with exception of the one anomalous thing that, uh, eats brains, or minds, 
We're bringing waves. You know, the usual. This is the world's strongest chain link fence. Alright, fine. You got me, chain link fence. You got me. Arish wasn't kidding about that monster. Eh? Dead people's normal. Dead people is nothing new. Hmm? Do we have monster lore? Swan boat? Item is made of fiberglass, painted to resemble a swan. Foot pedals allow item to propel forward in water. Item emits a pulse of physical force at an estimated blah, blah, blah. Measuring the exact force created by the item has been hindered by concerns from HR department. Item was seized from Activity Rental Service, located on a lake in Vancouver Island, Canada, after it ejected numerous riders over the course of the summer. Oh. Bringing the boat to the attention for the media. They spilled Brent. Bulberry jam all over. True. Item was transported to bureau by helicopter. A containment specialist accompanied it. Sent to recite formula C9 through 32 recursively. What happened in the helicopter is not known, but all agents were lost in the crash. Oof. Item was recovered and transported by train. It arrived at bureau without further incident. Right. Oh, Am I about to encounter a swan boat of some renown? Is that what you're telling me? I can't open this. I don't have clearance besti ugh, despite sure running this place. HRA when I first got here. And the machine that makes them. Hmm. Can you help me find a prism? Hmm. Hello? Okay, well the hiss is blocking my way that way, so so. That's a big slab of rock. Oh. Ah. I'm looking in. Shit. They're shit. What the fuck? What? Let's hurry up and find our little lab. What? It's invisible and it runs around with little pitter patter feet? What was that about? Luckily, my fully upgraded telekinesis power can apparently insta-heat it, but it does need something to lock onto. Blackrock. Hiss, distorted. Are able to render themselves invisible and emit a powerful concussive blast in close range to their target. Curiously, the distorted is apparently not able to utilize both abilities at once must make itself visible to go on offensive. Nice. Is unique in the fact that it wields paranatural ability previously unknown to the Bureau, perhaps tapping into an undiscovered object of power. How does the invisibility work? Does it become... Does the distorted become resonance temporarily? Does it use hiss resonance to, to refract light? Physical deformation of this hiss entity is noteworthy in its thoroughness. Clearly, human host would have died from such extreme alteration, which prompts the question, are the corrupted simply animated corpses? That's what I was getting. Black Rock has allowed the Bureau to make great strides in containment procedures since it was discovered. This report will examine how its very structure is comprised of blah, blah, blah density that nullifies all resonances in a range of ha ha hoo hoo. Bureau innovations that incorporate Black Rock will be analyzed, most notably the firebreaks, feats of engineering designed to contain any future outbreaks, attacks, or other internal threats. Yeah, and then we got the hiss. So. Mm -hmm. Goal of this report is to encourage bureau, bureau staff to explore further innovations using BlackRock, as work in that field has markedly slowed in years. Current years, even. 
Well, I can't go to the quarry. Stable thresholds in the maintenance sector. That's hmm. that's where Black Rock comes from. You Excellent. heard that too, right? Black Rock comes from the threshold. Ari. So the prisms must be there too. Poor animal. Think of it as paranatural lead. Our research involves many Oh, nice. This should get us into the quarry. Check. Level five! Hooray! Maybe. Everything here is crazy. Weird, but it feels... Right? Correct. Right. Yep. Like how the world should be. I don't know about that one. I am in an infinite building leading to different dimensions and I never want to leave. Yikes. Even with all the horror, I'm happy. Bit weird, but alright. Insane. Alright. Just the right kind of insane. Mmm. Alright. Are there any other bad guys that I should know about? Oh. Who needs headshots when you got a railgun that removes entire dudes? Yeah. I don't suppose you dropped a goodie. I can't believe you didn't drop a goodie. Hmm. Alright, sure, fine. Death? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What room am I above in here? Oh, the power room! Oh, nice! I was actually contemplating jumping down there, but uh, nope, been there before. Sure. Alright, well, let's activate this control point because I need it. I need it! And we can level up. Um. Oh, I think I was saving my points for this. Because energy recovering while holding launch objects is huge. That's why I was holding it. I was like, I have four points. Why didn't I spend those? There's not that many hiss hanging around here, and that's actually spooking me more than if it was crawling. So I'm actually far enough away that they can't seem to lock onto me? There we go. That's closer to what I expected. Okay, somewhat scarier is that this guy's alive still. And no, he's not. Good talk. Okay, well over this way is the quarry. Is this way anything? This way is lore! The NSC was designed by order of Deputy Chief Trench shortly before he became director. The container provides a safe method of extraction of Blank's excess energy output while acting as a humane way to house him. Him? Him? Coolant pumps keep the container and its blank from overheating while the energy is siphoned. Him? Energy is conducted to the converters where it is rendered into a through the use of turbine generators that the electricity produced powers the entire bureau, making us completely self-sufficient and effectively invisible on the New York City grid. After NSC-01's disappearance by some unknown manifestation of Blank's power, the occupant was restrained and a second model was built. NSC-2 possesses built-in spatial anchors that are designed to prevent any translocative effect from its occupant. Him? Is him the hiss? Hiss him? Is 
Is he just fed up with having them constantly drain his energy? Is there... Ah-ha-ha! Ha, ha. My lore. Fan supplement. Notion of fan death has now become widely known in the region since foreign investigator Blank met with a local journalist to explain how electric fans operate at speeds that may suffocate users by overly disturbing the air. Oh yeah? As our agency is still young, we must take care to avoid missteps. Any explanation given to the public must provide sufficient yet vaguely vague rationale that will reaffirm their certainty that ours is a stable, controlled world. We must tread carefully, especially in this increasingly technological world, with radio and other innovations allowing information to travel at speeds previously undreamt of. This is precisely why we insist that our department handle all communication with public bodies, with all due respect. Right. They had a spooky fan. But your brother isn't related to the hiss or the him? Yeah, it do kind of feel that way, don't it? Especially since, apparently, uh, the event that the siblings were involved in is heavily classified. Big, heavy classification. But I wouldn't doubt it. It would be the easy answer. At this point, I just have a nice fall. Oh my goodness. How much fall am I doing? Oh, there's a lad here. Stop that. None of that. No screaming. Only beaks are allowed to scream here. Pet the chunky lad, I am your sandwich, all the falling? True. This is, in fact, going to require all the falling. And it's kind of crazy how much falling is, um, is being asked of me right now. I'm spooked. I'm shooketh. Too far away to use shotgun mode. Ow. Broke my leg. Hello? Guess we pop down over here. You're bored, help? Well, luckily for you, there is a live stream right now. Holy moly! I'm alive. I lived. here actually actively blocking that way. House, I need you to listen to me. Let me into the quarry! Hydration! Alright. I don't think there was any goodies to find in this room, so we'll just continue on to... Oh. The game. Thank you. Uh-oh. Luckily for me, they are very slow to uh, aim at me. Uh-oh. 
might actually be a problem if they, uh, if they aimed at me a bit faster. Whoa, why are you? Oh my goodness. But why though? Oh, twofer! Ah! Why are there so many of you? Are we good? Why was there a clown car of dudes in here? Hello? How am I supposed to find a Black Rock Prism in Black Rock Quarry? It made sense at the time, but everything's Black Rock. Where are you? I managed to find the lore. We need additional diamond blades ASAP. Continuous rim this time to get the clean cut research once. The Black Rock shit is tough. Going through blades like they're made of, like we're made of the damn things. Dimensions for these slabs of Black Rock they want are outrageous. For all the grief they're causing me, these fire breaks better fucking work. Oh. Right, right, right. What? Is that the brain eater? What's that doing here? Hello? Legs equal broke. Where to go? Concern. Stop it. Stop making wibbly noises. I don't like it. It's going to eat my ass. All right. It's content to stay in the pit, so I'll leave it in the pit. You ever just look at a vista and be like, there's going to be 500 goodies stuck in that and there's no way I find them all. That's kind of what I'm looking at right now. Um. Oh. Hey, bud. Whoa! Large lad. Get bamboozled. Can't see there's so much gas. You. <sighs> All right. <gasps> My body. No, put that down. God, he lived. 
You're not supposed to live. There's like one guy way out there. There we go. Oh! That's something. I guess this is what I need. I guess these are... How big a boom are we talking? Is this going to be a big boom? Or are we going to have, like, controlled boom? Because I, I want big boom. And I think chat would also like a big boom. Malore. Quarry incident. During a weekly safely inspection into the threshold, quarry threshold, I discovered that the entire crew was in a state of blah. The whole team blah aligned and staring in a uniform direction, the city in the distance. Despite my most vocal efforts to gain their attention, they remained blit for more than blit. Until I had to resort to finally blit. Afterwards, they were dazed and could not provide any rationale for their behavior or any specific memories engaging it. My official recommendation for any crew working in a threshold area is to either shorten the length of their shifts or to carry out mandatory psychological evaluations on a weekly basis, or preferably, both. I pushed a button. Boom. I'll take it. Okay. So we got a prism in here somewhere? Buttons pusher? I did push the button. Oh. Kind of like a goofy ass looking quartz. And there it is. Right where you led me. The what? They need Why? I need to get this present Marshal before it's too late. Why? HRAs. Then Dylan. Dylan! Why is the mind eater here? Why is the mi There's multi multi mind eaters. Good. 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 Very good, chat. Very good. Hiss nodes. I in research. I ah, oh, friggin' sure. I can go look at them right as soon as I don't get my brain eaten by whatever these are. Brain slugs. Super duper brain slugs. <gasps> Let me out. I don't think I can go back in that way. Maybe. Can I climb these? I can. But I can't go up anymore from here. Which kind of defeats the point. And then chain link fences are notorious for how sturdy they are. Ooh. Okay, stairs. Yes, stairs good. Wait, lore. My lord! No smoking. Reminded to kindly not smoke in the quarry. Even though the quarry is technically an outdoor space, it is still part of the bureau, and therefore the no smoking rule does apply. Not only is it considerate towards your fellow employees to refrain from inflicting the harm of secondhand smoke, it is also prudent to avoid any risk of gas fires, unforeseen threshold reactions, and possible creation of altered receptacles. Under no circumstances should cigarette butts be left in the quarry. Imagine. You just go out for a nice smoke, and then it comes, becomes sentient and hunts you down. Oh, thank God. I wasn't sure if it would actually let me in or not. Oh, but the brain... Brain boys are still here. Because why wouldn't they be? Is there goodies up here? No. Hmm... Hmm. Hey, bud. I don't think I can even disrupt them at all. Yep, they just kind of keep on doing their thing. Wait, that's illegal. Yeah, and they're safe because technically they are reanimated corpses or whatever. Who is shooting where? Who 
do the what shooting? Oh, never mind. I think that one did just in fact get hit. Uh oh. That's a lot of boom. I can just skirt around these boys. Don't eat me. Oh okay, yeah, I need to go to Central Research. Eee! Fast travel. Uh, Central Research fastest place is. Honestly, probably the elevator. Elevator's probably the fastest way to get back there. <sighs> Oliver, you goofus. I'm gonna turn your bed a little bit, okay? Just a little bit. Just a little bit, buddy. You're kinda hiding your face. Yeah. Yeah, you're doing a little face hiding, buddy. You kill a goof. Alright. Research. Sweet kitty, yeah. He's a good boy. Although sometimes he, uh, when he wants attention, he'll sit on my mouse. Or even my hand, if I'm actively using the mouse. And just stare me down. And that can be somewhat annoying sometimes. But nah, he's really good boy. Alright. Yep. Central. So what is his nodes? Oh, they're just the teleporting lines, right? God, you still live! Stop it. Cease. Oh my god. How many dudes in the node? Is the node? Ow! Is that? Oh, we got a boomer boy. Let's remove that right quick. That was one node. One node taken care of. Two node. Ah, ah, ah. But now we need to get down to the ground floor. Preferably with as little dying as possible. Gracious me. Let me in. Whoa. Nope. They're really just throwing the suit inside guys at me, huh? Uh, 
Is there a hiss node here? No, not that I see. There the red blocky things hanging out? Yeah. How many more I got, game? Okay, there's one in the cafeteria. Because of course there's one in the cafeteria. There we go. Haha, -ha, wait. Alright. Now, haha. -ha. Wait, there's one more right here. What the hell? Okay, well, now I'm going to go down into the creepy hole again. Because last time there was a, um... What do you call it? There was a clearance level 4 door down here. And I couldn't open that last time I was here. So I want to open that door, since we're in the same general kind of vicinity of it. Oh. Are you positive, lads? Careful in there, man. Area's under quarantine. I wouldn't go in there without talking to Underhill first. Even if you have, I still wouldn't go in. Why? Excuse me. Are you lost? What? Underhill checking in. Hello, Rhea. How's it going down there? Enjoying the mold so far? Settling back into life in the old FBC? Also want to know, ask how your coffee with Emily went. She's a star on the rise. Incredibly bright. Extremely intuitive. But I want to hear what you thought of her. I think the two of you could be very good on a project together. You could learn a lot from each other. Let's get together and chat about it soon. Anyway, sorry for the interruption. I'm sure you can't think of anything besides the mold right now. You always were a woman of focus. I always admire that about you. Talk to you soon. Oh my goodness, so much lore! Do you want to know how my mold research is going on, Casper? Here it is. Microscopic organisms similar in appearance to another mold construct the architecture of the mold. I do not understand if these blank are original disseminators of the mold or are bitten by some fungal infection. The mold is the, the most prolific and durable organism I have ever seen. I theorize there is a mold source located somewhere on our side of the threshold, rooted here to accelerate growth in our dimension. I refer to this yet unknown source as Mold 1. Ah, yes, of course. The mold produces an enticing aroma to encourage human consumption of itself. Uh -huh. What? It propagates in the chest cavity and quickly subsumes the entire body, seizing control of motor functions. This behavior was not observed when I first arrived, which means the mold has adapted to our presence, targeting our biological imperatives as a way to spread. It is true, a truly ingenious little thing. Full report, ready soon. Keep your slacks on. Uh, don't eat the mold, chat. Dr. Darling's recently penned essay contains some glaring omissions that I feel I must shine light on. Firstly, the entire premise of the essay is that the quarry threshold is beneficial to the Bureau, while the mold is actively hostile, to use his words. We cannot determine the worth of these dimensions and their life forms using bureaucratic definitions. Oh, the mold isn't what's controlling these corpses? It's not. It's the hiss. Although there were a couple of mold corpses. Which was, um, an entire different kind of awful. Secondly, the mold is much more beneficial than some rock. If the blank creating the mold were reconfigured in their purpose, the structure they could build would rival the greatest skyscrapers. The mold's resistance to various strains of diseases we've attempted to introduce could be derived into bleh. Yes, admittedly, this application is more difficult than picking up a rock and gluing it to a wall, but I pause to wonder when the Bureau lost its eagerness for a challenge. Well, hi. It me. Do you normally barge into people's private workspaces? Yes. She clearly doesn't know who she's talking to. Shouldn't you be in a safe room? Why? Because of those his things the Rangers keep going on about. Haven't you people sorted that out yet? The situation down here could spell doom for the Bureau. You mean this mold? Correct. Perhaps you could help me. Yeah. I require samples of various mold strains, and the mold has made the environment far too dangerous for me to fetch them myself. 
Eh? Really? Mold samples? I thought this could spell doom. It could, and it will, whoever you are. The mold is spreading. We need to find the source before it spreads too far. Any samples will do that? No. Some of the unique strains, when blended properly, will allow you to travel deeper into the pit where I've pinpointed the approximate location of the source of the mold. Okay. So, what do these samples look like? Similar to the one on my table there. Eh? I've made a list of the samples I need. Here. You'll find them throughout the threshold. I think I saw one of them. My name's Jesse, by the way. I'm sure it is. Yikes! Have you worked at the FBC very long? Not long enough to understand their inane methodology. They want me to solve the mold, but how is one to solve anything when the basic molecular structure of this fungus is an utter enigma? Oh. Sorry, are you asking me? It's rhetorical. The Bureau wants to control, not comprehend. But to answer your question, I'm a seasoned threshold researcher that's been brought in on a provisional basis to resolve this matter. That's all you had to say. But she likes hearing her own voice! What have you learned about the mold? Firstly, the term mold is a gross oversimplification used only to ease communication. That said, Yikes. the mold itself appears to be the product of complex microorganisms. They spin the mold, building structures like minuscule cities, swiftly colonizing our dimension, and the speed of these tiny engineers relative to their size. Simply staggering! So it grows fast. If you're not going to listen, then why did you ask? <laughs> so the mold is coming in from... where? We don't have a name for the threshold dimension. The origin point has been identified, the mold. but the density yeah. of the fungus makes it impossible to enter. Even if we could, I speculate that we would only find a reality entirely subsumed by the fungus. Total decomposition! Weird how excited she is, right? That's one way of wording that, yeah. What do you know about the hiss? How could I know anything about an entity I've only just learned of? This is exactly the Bureau's problem. My work is always interrupted by these, these superfluous matters. Calm down. Just keep your HRA on and I'm sure you'll be fine. Jesus. This crude thing. I thought it was Darling's idea of a practical joke. Not quite. Just keep your head down while I handle the hiss. Yikerinos! I need to get going. Try not to transport any spores outside the infected area. I guarantee another! Down here. This place is perfect for you. Oops. I exited the wrong door. Alright. Well, I can go take a peek around. Oh, it smells so sweet down here. Suddenly I'm really hungry. Uh-oh. Don't. I wonder how this mold tastes. Don't. Eat. The mold. Stop. Cease. Do not put the mold in the mouth. We'll get burgers back home. Are those people? Try not to think about it. If you think about it, it'll get weird. here earlier but we couldn't do much here so I do at least see this one thing yep and now it's interactable sure I couldn't get it before because I didn't have the quest before but you know I'll get it now this looks like a good one grows near televisions whack 
Oh yeah, I should probably uh I should probably uh be tracking this mission, huh? Gross new toilets? Oh good. Good. Alright, well, restrooms this way. Will we find some of the splendiferous mold? Nope. Don't like that. Stop it. None of that now. That's just a lamp. This doesn't help me. Lab five? Ah. One of Underhill samples. All right. So we got the television one. We still need toilets, staircases, and corpses. Although you wouldn't think it'd be that hard to find the corpse one. The place is practically oozing corpses. I also said restrooms that way, but I didn't see anything while I was down there. Uh. Lab 8? Hello? Oh, you bitch! I hate you. Oh, you are the worst kind of bitch. I hate the ones that just spit shit at you. They do insane damage and actually getting a hit in is frustrating. Oh fuck, how far back's that? We'll go back, but I'm going to use a uh, fast travel. It will just be quicker to go back to executive and then fast travel down to the mold area since I had previously unlocked that fast travel point. Ugh. Constructs. New weapon form? Well, I could upgrade grip, but. Do either of these use house memory? No. Hidden trend? This one does, but I got enough of them. Okay, I'll just. Sure, I'll just upgrade grip. Why not? Fast travel. Research. Uh. Is it active? I think it's active. I should probably change shotgun to uh, grip. Every time I want shotgun to be super useful, it's not. Okay, yeah. We have ended up in the zone. We'll change you to grip, we'll change shatter to pierce, and then grip can have upgrades. Reload speed, headshot damage, sure, headshot damage, and will cost per shot, damage on low health, reload speed. I guess just reload speed because the other ones are kind of boring. Ammo cost per shot, damage on low health. Nip. Those are some big nit for me. Alright, that's Pierce, so we go back. 
Okay. Let's see. What we can see. All right. Here's the one for corpses then. This must be one of the samples. Staircases and toilets. staircase. Just wait for those to pop so that I can safely go on through. Hello? Mold? Ah, there it is. Yeah. Yeah. Found one. Now I just need the spooky toilet one. Oh, hey, too. It's you. All right. Well, it's got to be down where it said the bathroom sign was, but. I didn't see it when I was in there. He's the problem. And it's really freaking dark over here. Alright. Restrooms this way. But I didn't. I didn't see no giga mold. There's. There's a hand growing out of the toilet, but. seen any giga fungus down here was just two two lads right what happened to my HP oh HP HP I miss you and this was just an office and then this is the lab. So uh, about that. Is this toilet? The toilet nexus? Oh, so it is. Alright. This looks like a good one. Oh. Alright. That's all five samples. Maybe she'll give me uh Maybe she'll give me the gas mask I need to go through certain zones in uh, Executive that I've been through. Slide by. Yeah, I should be able to just tra back traverse this way. And be like, hey, how you doing? Honor Hill did the thing. Yikes, but okay. You're not incorrect. I found all five. But I kind of wanted to eat them. The mold has that effect on some people. Likely due to the fact it's not actually mold or even of this dimension. Wrong. I suspect it is the result of two incompatible molecular structures, one dominant, coming into contact. Eh? I call it mold or fungus because it's closer in appearance and behavior than anything else we know. Except perhaps bacteria. She reminds me of my old biology teacher. Did you happen to meet any more members of my range of detail? I didn't see any rangers. Just walking mold people. Unless... Yes. If you found mold people, you found my rangers. Oh. I refer to the creatures as hosts. They, like other unwary agents, succumbed to the appetite. But that's nothing for you to worry about. 
The pill I'm about to make with these samples will make the lower level perfectly safe to traverse. Hooray. It has the added benefit of immunizing you against the pit's toxic spores. Hooray! Now leave me to it. Wait, but when? But when though? Going. Try not to transport any spores outside the infected areas. But. But when though? All right. Well, apparently she's just doing that now. So. Wait. An X-ray light box in the hypnosis lab. Where? What? Eh? Is that on this floor? I don't know that it's on this floor though. What is the fastest way to get me out of Mold Town? Wait a minute. I never noticed that battery before. Battery? Battery box bit? Anybody? Something's gurgling at me. I don't like that. Hmm. Was there a battery in the next room over? Hey, you got, got battery in here? Something walked at me. Didn't like that. Ah. Hmm. So it's got to be in this room, right? Surely. Oh, I'm actually blind. Okay. Whoop. All right. So elevator now elevates. Nice. No more fall jokes. No more fall death. Probably. Unless I slip off the elevator somehow. Which could happen. Do I need to go to the astral exhibition or is that on a different floor? I'm so confused. This is illegal! Get out of here! Give me your HP and leave. Oh, beer. Beer, dear. There's a grenade guy in that? Can we relax on... The hordes of dudes. That'd be great, thanks. Jesus. Here, you can hold your own grenade. Do it, fire it at me. Whoa! Okay. He did. actually look around this map because I don't know if this is the map I want because I don't see a way to get to that room from parapsychology so I think I'm just gonna go up or down to maintenance actually I should go to maintenance I think wait no it does say research it says research hypnosis lab I don't... 
see how to reach the hypnosis lab, though. Hmm. How do... So how do we do that? How do we reach this lab? Maintenance major targets. Eh. Eh. Luck and probability. Is there any fast travel I can do here? Take me closer. There is the astral exhibition, which has a little nut here. I guess I can bounce over to astral exhibition? There might be something here. And this is where we first met the brain gibbler. see how to get to that question mark room off to the left. Press psychology. Okay, hypnosis lab this way. Alright. So now... Hypnosis! Is that it? Hypnosis lab. There we are. Boom! We made it! Ooh, that doesn't bode well. I see it. Another object of power? They're just standing there. To bind the X-ray light box. Oh boy. Oh boy. Alright, well. Is there anything in here? Um, I don't think I've... seen... what that could be? Have I? Have I seen what that could be? Goody box. Mm, no. I can't get in this room. Whoa, that door disappeared for a second. That was weird. Um, there's nothing in the box itself. Does it really just want me to guess? Because I... on the window? Which window? This window? This window? Oh. You know how to do it. Good eyeballs, chat! I have no idea how I'm going to make this, but... Alright. I can even see it from here. So... It's like that, but the top is full. I was just uh, trying to figure out what I could do there, but you know, whatever. All right. Please state your name for the record. Paul Warren, astronaut, first class. And you are aware that 
exposure to the astral plane can result in death, disability, personal injury, corporeal entanglement, cognitive collapse, loss of ego, and partial to full dimension. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am. And you acknowledge what? that your use of the astral conduit, aka the X ray light box, is purely voluntary. Yes, I do. Perfect. Your suit is good. Okay, you're all set. Open the door for Mr. Warren, please. What? Creepy box, what the fuck do you actually do? Ah! <gasps> My eyes! You seize to complete it. So I have the ability to mind control now? Is that what you're telling me? How do I, how, um, find out, right, but how do I, um, how do I seize? Enemies at low health can be seized. You did what now? What? Yeah, it seems about right. I like how I lost money for the tutorial. It's a tutorial, but they're going to be like, oh, we'll still take away all of your goodies. You still died. LOL. Despite the fact we weren't going to tell you that there was going to be a, a dude sneaking up on you because you were looking around trying to figure out what was up. Because, you know, gold enemies, famously... Unable to be damaged. Okay. So, how do I seize game? F. F. I have to hold F. game. How many times are you going to make me do this, though? You know? Yeah, that's three. Oh, you want them to kill the gold guy for me. I see. Sick. Good work playing, director! That's me. I don't know that I care about that power as much as others, but sure. Their brains were fried when I took over the object. Oh. That's unfortunate. Well, now we definitely go back to executive. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. And they're screaming voice. Nope, I'm good, thanks. I'm good. Thanks. <laughs> oh, I forgot! I forgot! Oh, I forgot about this man existing! Oh, my body! Oh! My fucking body! I missed? I missed. I shot it. Hey, did you know that the, like, wingy bits of that particular creature are not wingy bits? They're completely untargetable, apparently. Which is a little bit psycho. It's a bit... It's a bit fucking cursed. On the other hand, this might put me directly on a control point, which will let me just teleport out. Sick. 
by the way. Okay, so there's one more power I have yet to unlock. I wonder where that'll be. What was this? Seize duration. Seize additional enemy. Seize large enemies. That's all boring stuff, though. Even shield strength would be better. That's all. Blech. So anyway, I went back to executive. His clusters do healing. Alright. I think I missed that in one of the tutorial bits. Man, these loading screens are really ominous with the um, the lack of music. Had to take a detour into the quarry, but I found plenty. Here. We will start HRA production immediately. I promised I'd tell you about Dylan once you helped us. This is it. Dylan! She knows. Seventeen years I've waited. Your brother is here. He was once known as Prime Candidate Six, codenamed P6. We brought him here after the ordinary event. He was groomed to be the future director. He had talents far beyond any other candidate in the program. Of course he did. We found you together. We share a bond. Are you with him now? So you kidnapped him. We took him in. Your parents vanished along with every other adult in Ordinary. Eventually, his power changed him. There were casualties. <clears throat> he wasn't fit to be the director. Did you know about this? Is this why you didn't bring me here sooner? Were you keeping me away? Where is Dylan? He's kept in the containment sector, in the Panopticon. My brother. I thought we were the same. Did he go nose? What if we are? I'm going. Now. I expected as much. I need to go check on something. Something I cannot let the Hiss find. It shouldn't take long, but you must watch the bureau while I'm gone. Wait. And remember, Dylan is dangerous. Do not let him out, Director Fate. How do I make her stop calling me that? I'm not here for them. Nothing simple here. Nope. These people took my brother, but they've accepted me without question. Are they my enemies or my friends? Why well, not both? I need to see Dylan. I need to know. Good old frenemies. I wish you could tell me what you know, explain things. Just stay with me, okay? Well, I'm in your head. I could use a friend right now. You got a friend in me. Does that say? Fuse? Juice? Does Dylan need juice? Dylan! Points, get! New mission, get! Okay, but... But... Nope, still working on it. Alright. Alright. And we can finally unlock multi launch plus energy recovers while holding objects. The good stuff. And now I'm also going to get. Okay, never mind. I need three points for health up. No! The crucifier city finds out. Who does she think she is authorizing mm. that kind of data breach? Hmm. Up we go. Jesse! Yep. The. It's the main character, though I keep forgetting it. For some reason, she just exists in my brain as a red haired girl. Which is a little bit wacky. 
For some reason, her name just doesn't stick out in my head. Lucette, thanks for coming by. Ah, oh, floaty boy. Oh, screamy baby time. news everyone I've killed the bard which means it's safe to move forward now wow why are we meowing Oliver are you going to scream attention at me until I give you attention mm -hmm. object item distinctions while altered items and objects of power may seem similar at first it's important to note very key distinctions firstly objects of power grant para utilitarian abilities secondly objects of power translocate anyone who has made physical contact to the astral plane this is widely believed to be due to the affili the blanks affiliation with the object of power not every individual is allowed to the astral plane which indicates that blank evaluates who and can and cannot enter thirdly and this is not always the case. Objects of power are much more paranaturally blank than altered items. Looking at the specific criteria that defines an object of power, it is no wonder that they are notably rarer than altered items. In fact, we have blank altered items for every object of power contained within the Bureau. All right, Oliver is here and he is screaming. Yes, I see you. Hello. Hello, Oliver. You're being a big old needy baby butt. Yes, you are. A big old needy baby butt. But chat, it's been a pretty sleepy day, so I'm thinking I might just call it here. Because I should be able to just quit and save, and if not, then I just come back down the elevator again. Well, it's been a pretty sleepy day, a slow day, and we got we got close to two hours out of it. So I think that's probably fine for now. That and I'm getting kind of hungry, Chet. Kind of want a little little bit of hunger. So let's see if we can get Oliver on screen before. Uh... Yeah, hold up! Whoa, buddy! Whoa, buddy! Hey, how you doing? How you doing? Can you look? Can you look at chat for me? Can you look at chat? Have a good night, sis. Yeah, look at that Ollie boy. Look at that Ollie boy, and he immediately walks off camera. Immediately walks off camera. Oliver, you super needy boy, baby boy. I'll be back tomorrow, chat. I'll be back tomorrow. Bye-bye for now.